editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, break point. Learn this. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, break points. Start again. Ready. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, break points. Again, code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, breakpoints. Again, code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, breakpoints. One more time, then we'll get into it. One more time, one more time, one more time. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostic debugger breakpoint. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics debugger breakpoint. In this video, we're going to talk about the IDE, Integrated Development Environment. The Integrated Development Environment, IDE, Integrated Development Environment, IDE, Integrated Development Environment, Integrated Development Environment, Integrated Development Environment. An IDE, an IDE. An IDE, an IDE, an integrated development environment. Think of it like this, but don't use this in the exam. It's like Microsoft Word for programming. It's like Microsoft Word for programming. It provides a programmer with useful tools that they can use to program. So it's like Microsoft Word for programming. It almost looks the same as something like a word processor, but it's for programming. What does it have in it? It has a code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, breakpoints. Okay, what does all that mean? A code editor. A code editor is the main part of an IDE. IDE has line numbering. You can easily follow your code. IDE has line numbering. You can easily follow your code. So an IDE, an integrated development environment, has line numbering. Look, you've got line numbers. One, two, three, four. You can easily see which line your code is on. It has auto color coding, meaning that things like print, words like print, are color coded. This hello world there is color coded. The hello world as the output is color coded. So it has different color coding. Auto color coding. The code editor, an IDE, has auto color coding. For example, Python automatically colors your code. Auto color coding. If you see here, look, print is in sort of purple color. The hello world is in green, and the hello world there as an output is in blue. So, color coding makes it easy to identify reserved words. So, words that the program uses that you can't use in your program. Color coding makes it easy to identify reserved words that are special words used by the IDE. I can't call my variable print. I can't use a variable called print because it's reserved for the software to use, for IDE to use. So I can't call my software print. I can't call my variable print because it's reserved. It's a reserved word. An integrated development environment, IDE, provides useful tools for coding. It provides useful tools for coding. It provides useful tools for coding. 
an integrated development environment provides useful tools for coding. IDE stands for Integrated Development in Development Environment. Integrated Development Environment. That's an IDE. When you think of an IDE, think of Microsoft Word for programming. Do not use that in the exam. It looks a bit like Microsoft Word and it provides tools to make programming easier. Don't say Microsoft Word in the exam. It's just the way of you trying to remember it. So an IDE, Integrated Development Environment. An Integrated Development Environment, IDE, provides useful tools for coding. It provides useful tools for coding. It provides a code editor. It provides line numbering. It provides auto color coding, auto correction, auto indentation, auto complete. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger breakpoints. Code editor. The code editor is the main part of an IDE. Code editor is the main part of an IDE. The IDE has line numbering. You can easily follow your code with line numbers. We've all tried to look at code when there are no line numbers, but if you put line numbers, if you enable line numbers, you can see which line you're working on at any current time, any given time. So, auto color coding, Python automatically colors your code, automatically colors your code, auto color coding, auto color coding, auto color coding. If you look here, color coding makes it easy to identify just parts of the code. So in Python, you know that if it's green, you know it's telling the screen to output something, to output, to output. If it's purple, it's a command that is reserved for use in Python. If it's blue, it's an output. This is auto color coding. Autocorrect, autocorrect. Good code editors have autocorrect. A good code editor will have autocorrect. A good code editor will have autocorrect, which is one of the tools in an IDE. When you type something, I'm going to stop using the word something. Don't use the word something. When you type a word, autocorrect corrects that word for you. That's what an IDE can do. It provides a code editor that allows you to autocorrect words. A good code editor will have auto indentation. This part is really important. Indentation in most languages is needed to make the code run properly. This is indentation. When you go slightly in, so this is the normal side. When you indent, it just goes slightly in. Indentation, indented, indentation, auto indentation. Auto indentation. It also has auto color coding. So we've got auto indentation. And previously we had auto color coding. Remember those. We have auto correct. We have auto indentation. A good code editor has auto complete. Auto complete. Auto complete. As the name suggests, it completes code with key programming words if they are recognized. So if I type in random int and it sees that I need this here to have another word like next int, it will give me an option to autocomplete it. Autocomplete. Line number. ID has line numbering. You can easily follow your code by finding the line number. Line numbering. Line numbering. Auto color coding. Color coding makes it easy to identify reserved words that are the special words used by the IDE. Autocorrect, allow words to be corrected as they are typed. Auto indentation, automatically indents key words. Look, print is indented in this if statement. Autocomplete, allows the programmer to see a list of words that might be suitable in their program, a list of commands that might be suitable, that's autocomplete. Then you just select it. 
then it puts the word in for you. Autocomplete. These are the features of an IDE. Error diagnostics. It helps to find and fix errors by telling the programmer the location of the error. So error diagnostics helps to find and fix errors by telling the programmer the location of the error. And a debugger suggests ways to fix the error. A debugger will give you ideas of how to fix the error. Breakpoints. A breakpoint is a debugging tool that stops the program on certain lines to gather information on values or variables as the program is running. I'm going to go through that again because it's quite long. Breakpoint is a debugging tool that stops the program on certain lines to get information on values or variables as the program is running. So a breakpoint is a tool that you can use to stop the program on certain lines, on certain lines to get information about the behavior of values and variables as the program is running. Error diagnostics helps to find and fix errors by telling the programmer the location of the error. Error diagnostics, it tells you the location of the error. Debugger, debugging tools, suggests ways to fix the error. When you are asked about the IDE, think of all of those different areas. So I'll go through it very quickly again. I'm going to go through it and then I think you should make this into a song. I'm not going to sing the song, but you should make it into one. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, break point. Code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete. Error diagnostics, debugger, break points. Watch the video again, make notes, like, comment, subscribe. Is that what they say? I don't know. Good luck. An IDE has a runtime environment. Runtime environment. Runtime environment. Runtime environment. So when you click run, you are using the runtime environment. When you press run or you select run, you're using the runtime environment on the IDE. What is a runtime environment? A runtime environment. When you select run module in Python, which we're familiar with, that is entering the runtime environment. If you've used other versions of Python, like PyCharm, it has run time environment so an ide has a runtime environment runtime environment if you are asked about features of an ide you can say runtime environment in addition to all the other things that have been said runtime environment runtime environment when i click this here the play button it runs the program in the runtime environment, runtime environment, runtime environment. Now, what does a runtime environment do? A runtime environment allows the code to be quickly run. A runtime environment allows the code to run quickly within the IDE. This is done by using a start or run button or by selecting run. The runtime environment can also help to identify logic errors in the program as the programmer can see which part of the code is running when errors occur. So a runtime environment allows the code to be run quickly within the IDE. It's done by running the program by clicking start or the run button or selecting run. The runtime environment can also help to identify logic errors. I would go here, the runtime environment helps to identify logic errors in the program as the programmer can see which part of the code is running when errors occur. Identify logic errors. So a runtime environment helps the programmer run quickly. It helps to identify logic errors. These are all 
All of these are the things, are the factors that make the integrated development environment easier for programmers to program, to write code. So IDE, all of these, code editor, line number, auto color coding, auto correct, auto indentation, auto complete, error diagnostics, debugger, breakpoint. They all make up for easier coding for programmers.